Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be making a dessert called Tel Kadif. I'll, um, I'll go through that in a minute, but first of all, first thing we need to do, um, put our sh sherbet on to boil. So I'm going to put two cups of sugar. One, two cups of sugar into which I'm going to add three cups of water. Now most people tend to put for each cup of um, sugar they'll put the same amount of water they'll have it more um, more thicker syrup but um, I'm going to make it for each cup one and a half cups of Water, so I've done two cups of sugar, three cups of um, water, a slice of lemon, and we're going to put this on to boil now. Once it boils, turn it down and simmer it for 10 minutes. So, next, this is called Tel Kadif, they're like little noodles. So, we just open this up, and this is how they are. They come in packets like this and what you need to do is um, open them up so you just need to make sure that all these dry bits are like so you need to open them up so that's the first thing we're going to do we're going to go and open up our tel kadif i've got 500 grams of tel kadif here now there's two ways, well there's more than uh, different ways of making it, but two versions where you can either uh, put a layer of this at the bottom of your tray of your tin, cooking tin, and then put your layers of your chosen nuts in between and then again put another layer on top and do it that way and once it's cooked you cut it up in squares and serve it that way. Or the other way is um, you would, once you open it up, you'd have them long ways like so. And then you put your nuts in it at the beginning and then you would roll it over and you make like um, wraps like so. So you would have, serve them individual this way. So there's two ways of doing it. Once you've done that, I've just gone ahead and put my um, walnuts into a bag and I'm just going to go over it with um, a rolling pin just to crush them. You can use any nuts but I'm going to go ahead and use um, walnuts. So go ahead and just crush your um, nuts that you're going to be using. Pistachio nuts really go well with this. Got your nuts ready. With your mixture, if it feels too... Um, dry what you do is you just um, sprinkle some water over it so you just go like this a couple of um, sprinkles they don't have to be too wet just a little bit just a sprinkle and that's it so now we've got our tel kadif ready my sherbet's on low, um, simmering away for 10 minutes. And we're going to let that cool down. And then what you do, like I said, you can either make it in um, a tray, just put in, if you're going to put it in the tray, you just um, open it up and put it um, layers and then put your nuts in between and then cover it up again with another layer. Um, but I'm going to wrap mine. <coughs> So I'm just going to make them long, doesn't matter that they're broken at all. So we just get a little bit and just, and then what you would do is you would get some of your nuts, get a spoonful of your nuts right at the beginning like so, and then you would just start to roll it over. Now, some people tend to um, 
fry this in deep fat. They um, have eggs, uh, whisk up an egg, dip it in, and then they would um, deep fry that, take it out, and then pour the sherbet on top. But I'm actually just going to be cooking mine in, in the oven. So we just go ahead and roll out our dough again you can use walnuts you can use almonds pistachio is a favorite of this one um, normal peanuts it's up to you whichever nuts that you prefer or whatever it is you've got or you can even leave it um, blank plain come up this way and then we'll put them onto our tray as long as you've got some at the beginning to hold your nuts put your nuts and then just roll it like so or just um, get your tin get a bit of butter just butter your tin and then put them straight into the tin so it's just out of the way so once you butter your tin then we can start putting them in as we're making them. So I'm just finishing off my last one now. Uh, we'll put that in there. So that's how I do mine. Now next we're going to put um, butter. Now all these little bits that you've got left over, you could just, you know, just put it in there. It all get eaten. Right. So now we just get some butter and just put some butter all over them. You can even melt your butter, but um, I prefer to put knobs of butter on mine. Some people just go ahead and melt and pour it all over. But I like to go around and put in knobs of butter on each one. So that's what I'm going to be doing. I'm just going to put a knob of butter on each one. Like so. Okay, so I've used about 100 grams of butter just going around and putting um, knobs of butter all over them. I've got my oven on now at 200 degrees. I'm going to place it into the oven at 200 degrees for five minutes and then I will turn it down to 180 degrees and let it um, until they're browned off on top. And we're just going to leave our syrup to cool down completely. As you can see, it's starting to brown off. I had it in the oven at um, 200 degrees, five minutes, and then turn it turned it down to 180. It's now been in the oven for 20 minutes and they're coming out quite browning off well, but it still needs a bit more. So here we are, just got it out of the oven. It's been in the oven for 40 minutes. Put it in at 200 degrees at first um, for five minutes and then turned it down to 180. When they make it the other way where you would put a layer down the bottom, then in between you put your nuts and then you press another layer on top. Um, once they cook it, what they seem to do is they turn it upside down and put it and put the other side to be browned off as well they like it really browned off but i don't i'm i'm quite happy like this so we leave it for one minute and then after a minute you've got your cold um, sherbet and you've got your hot tel kadif at the um, oven and all you do is you go around and you pour 
this all over it. So now you would just leave this to for it to take all that sherbet in and it will do. So we'll leave it alone for about five minutes. Okay, it's now been resting for 15 minutes. I don't know if you can see, but it's all um, taking in all the syrup now. Um, it's still warm. Ideally, you would put this away in the fridge now and then serve it um, cold. But I just want to dish a piece out so that you can see. This is how I like mine. So it's crispy on top, but um, quite soft on the inside on the inside is quite soft and then you've got crispy bit on the outside serve it on its own or serve it with some ice cream next to it like I said most people tend to really brown it off or they fry it they deep fry it and then um, put the syrup but I like mine like this so you get all your nuts inside Crispy on both um, outer sides, but soft and gooey in the inside. And it's not very sweet the way I do it. This is called Tel Kadiv. I hope you give it a go. Let me know how you get on and how you like yours. You can put some nuts on top if you want. But this is it, nice and crispy. show you again close up so all the um, syrup is taken lovely until next time with another recipe thank you for watching thank you for subscribing take care bye keep safe